Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today, we will be talking about Masunaga's latest collection, the 2022 Spring Summer Collection. So for those of you who don't know, Masunaga is one of the oldest brands in the world. It's from Japan and they are very popular for making handcrafted uh, eyewear. So Masunaga has been founded in 1905, which is more like 150, 200 years history. I think so. My math sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Masunaga was founded by the founder, Gozaima Masunaga. Ever since then, they have been making quality eyewear till today. Their approach is a no compromise approach. So if you guys want to know more about Masunaga, let us know in, in the comment section below. Uh, we might make a video about the history of Masunaga. Or uh, you can head over to our blog to read up on the short write-up we have on the Masunaga brand. I'll leave the link in the description below. So back to Masunaga's collection. Masunaga usually releases two collections in a year. One in the spring summer, what they call it the spring summer collection or the SS collection, and also the autumn winters collection or the AW collection. So what we have right now with me here is uh, the 2022 SS collection. So this year's collection is uh, kind of unique. It's quite refreshing. You can see a little bit changes, very subtle, but still preserving their uh, identity as a brand. You can see that the, the protruding nose pad, as you can see uh, across their lineup, is still there. But this time they tweak it a little bit. They use this kind of a floating nose pad. When you look from the top, it appears to be like a two-piece design, but actually it's still a one-piece design. If you open up the screws, you can see it's actually still a one piece. It's just that from the top, by the look of it, you see it's like a two piece. So there's like more layers to it, more complexity to the design, right? And what really uh, caught my eye in this recent collection is they, they've been using this kind of a mated navy blue color. To me, I think it's really nice. It's not too striking, you know, not too attention grabbing. It's subtle from far, it looks like a dark blue or kind of like a black. But up close, you can see, oh, it's actually a mated navy blue, very special, very unique. You don't see it anywhere else, it's uh, quite rare. And again, uh, Masunaga, all the hinge are very smooth. You don't feel any stuckiness, it's very smooth. You run your fingers through the joint, you don't feel the joints, uh, the gap, there's no gap. Right, and all the finishing is a brush metal finishing, very beautiful, well polished, and again, of course, it's a lightweight because most of them are titanium and also very strong. We will be reviewing uh, individual videos on uh, a few pairs of this model that we find very interesting, and uh, maybe you can follow us so that uh, you don't miss out on this. So this is a flat iron titanium pressing. The linings are so well done. Right, the shine. So, it's really beautiful. This pair is uh, really handsome. It's called the Flat Iron. I think it's one of the poster models. And also, this pair is kind of like a rounded panto where the top is flat, it's bottom. It looks like a half frame, but it's actually a full frame. You pay attention to the details. There is no screws or what's whatsoever across uh, the two layer design. Instead, this kind of parts, they use a rivet. I'm not sure if you guys have this kind of experience. Sometimes you have that kind of uh, design where you have these uh, additional screws and over time it becomes loose. So um, for Masunaga, these parts are all riveted together. So there's no chance of it getting loose. So generally what we have across the collection is we see more interesting colors and this kind of uh, floating design. Really nice. Alright, so that's all for today's video. See you guys again. Bye-bye.